Um, I'm not someone who's great at talking about their feelings in this format. I have a very, very messy room right now. I wish I could say that's out of character for me. Um, I'm, I'm not making this to, like, make anybody worry about me particularly or um you know I, it's it's not an attention thing i just felt like it would be good for me who doesn't love a bit of attention though i uh have some notes and uh basically uh i i'm someone who struggles very much with their mental health, and I especially do around the winter time. Um, the things I deal with, I have a what's called a seasonal affective disorder, which is as silly as it sounds. It's like around the winter time, I uh, when I'm very vitamin D deficient. Uh, it's like what you get from the sunlight and certain foods. Um, so I take. Uh, like stuff for that and i take um other like supplements they also have what's known as a sad light very ironically named it's like a really bright light that kind of gives you vitamin d leave on for about an hour a day i um i don't like that these things are like part of my identity or whatever i uh have an anxiety disorder and a depressive disorder i don't know if i'm saying that right i take medication for that I tried several different medications at one point i took kind of a notorious one called diazepam which i guess i'd say i was addicted to um but yeah, I think that already explains a bit of why I so unregularly upload things and then randomly I'll put so much time into making a video that no one cares about except me. And it's not like, I'm not saying that out of a thing like I want people to care. I would like to do that. That's something I'd like to do. Um... I feel like I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna miss some stuff here. Um, I uh, I'd say I I things started getting really bad when I went through a very emotionally abusive relationship, uh, which is surprising to me that that was what triggered things starting to go really bad for me. Because before that, I dealt with like kind of like uh very much like kind of physical assaulty harassment at sixth form really wasn't very very cool don't do that sort of thing to people it's not very cool or swag um and that basically led to uh a couple of suicide attempts um some i'd say failed because i kind of you know, you, you you start doing something and you're like, this is a bad idea. I'm probably going to untie this or I'm probably going to throw this up. Um, and I wouldn't say it's like out of any point of like, it, it's not for any good reason. Like um, it's, it's because like, I'd love to say it's because oh, I feel bad for my family, etc. It's probably just because I'm very scared. I'm not. A very brave person which is why i take very long time to make this sort of thing um so yeah i had some suicide attempts and then the one i kind of went through with i tried to hang myself and it was from one of those hanging pulley windows so the angle i was at it like i fell down i hit my head on my desk and i had quite a bad concussion and I ended up being driven to hospital and having a, I can't remember what they're called, the scan things with the big circular tubes. This is a very long time ago now, this is about, I don't even know, like, would have been 16. 
and that was really tough. Uh, I did that. I suffered like minor memory loss in the hospital, so I don't really remember it very well. Um, that was really tough. Um, and from there, I was uh, when that sort of thing happens, you meet what's called like a crisis team. So you go home and they kind of just kind of come in and speak to you. I had a lot, a lot of moving parts. I had a friend just down the road who I was a lot closer to than I, I felt a lot closer to and I should have told them about than I did before they died from taking some legal high thing. That was really tough. A lot of shitty things happened. Um... But yeah, that kind of led me to spending some time in mental hospital where I was, um, it turned out down the line, I, I believed them as well, I didn't put them in the wrong for this, that uh, I had a false diagnosis of having an emotional disorder, I think that's what it's called, um, and that... Uh, <laughs> Uh, it turned out, doctor's words, not mine, we thought you had an emotional disorder. It just turns out you were having a really shitty time. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I, I, I don't hold anybody really responsible but myself. I don't think it's good or helpful to blame other people's actions on your own mental health like at the time I definitely did um but yeah it there's a lot of moving parts okay I, I, I thought it would be good to talk about this because I know it's it's like it's people go through this sort of stuff uh a lot more than you'd think and there's probably people who have gone through way worse than me that hearing this would probably put them at ease quite a lot yeah so i i took time so from there i spent about a month and a bit in mental hospital eventually leave just had some time spent time with my friends and well not so much my friends i i spent a lot of time with my parents and my sister, who are amazing. I, I joke a lot about stuff like that, but they're just incredible support. I'm really grateful. I'm in an incredibly privileged position, and I'm still sad. So that's really cool. No, I, I'm, I'm very, very grateful. Um, I just feel like things are always moving way too fast for me. I left. I went back to a different sixth form eventually when I was like, I can't remember now. It was like 20, 21. So I took a lot of time out and went back to a different sixth form. And then I did university again. And I've taken a year out of university and I'm back. And kind of uh, over Christmas, I felt like I'm going to fail this year. I'm not going to go back to university. I give up. And I guess I've been having a lot of suicidal thoughts again recently and stuff. So I'm going to go back to the doctors for that. It's kind of intrusive sometimes. Sometimes it's like I want to. Sometimes it's just in my head. <sighs> Men's health is it's not fun to talk about. Uh, I dealt with some stuff. I dealt with a lot. Um, Yeah, I don't want to read a lot of this. Uh... Yeah, I, I very clearly wrote what I've got down here in a not-so-great state. There's, like, a little political rant at the end as well and everything. Um, but, yeah, I think the biggest summary of uh, things is just things things move way too fast for me, and I'm scared. I'm in my second year of university, and I'm, like, 25 
I'll be 26 in October. Not to compare myself to others. It's just not easy. It's not fun. I, I really felt like I had a lot of potential when I was younger. And I could have I could have really been someone or something. Uh, but I'm very, like, lucid and aware to the fact that um, the way I think isn't healthy. And there's better ways to do things. Like, my expectations of myself, etc., aren't healthy. I really just don't feel like I'm capable of really basic work and labor a lot of the time. And sometimes I'm not, like, I'm not mentally well a lot. Um, but yeah, I I, I think, I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing or making this, but it just felt like something I wanted to do. I've been thinking about making something like this for about three days. And the way I did it was I write down everything about how I feel and I come back the next day and I see if I still feel that. And most of this, I, I feel that way, just not as erratically. Been very up and down. Um, so just like the best advice I can give anybody is if you feel shitty, be clear about exactly how you feel. And tell someone like family or a close friend or a doctor, especially if you live in a country with, um, I don't know, socialized, nationalized healthcare, because their interest, their job is to try and make you feel better. Um, I just kind of just keep going, keep trying. Because <sighs> they, they want you around and... If you're really lucky like me, you're too scared to go through with anything anymore. <laughs> um, they just want you to be happy. I, 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 to me, it feels like someday the money's gonna run out and the whatnot's gonna run out. I'm just unlucky with the time. I should have been born 200 years later. I don't know. I really don't want to leave this off on like a, a, a sour note. Uh. I don't want people to worry, but you know, I think I think when I'm in a format like this, where you can hear me, you can see me, you kind of know what I'm getting at. So yeah, that's that. Thank you, thank you for sticking around, and I really appreciate everyone's support um, and people who have financially supported me. I think I'm probably going to take the Patreon and stuff down. It just kind of doesn't feel right to me. Right now, it feels weirdly it's kind of exploitative, you know. So there's a very strange power dynamic there, even though I'm in, you know, it's just like, just there you go. That's all. I think I feel better for talking about it. Thank you. <laughs>